Okay, then let's talk about overthinking negative thoughts, how to deal with, how to manage, prevent, stop your overthinking and negative thoughts. Now, <laughs> I'm going to make this video quick, straight to the point, because if I take too long and I start messing around, you're going to start overthinking and you're going to not pay attention and you're going to click off the video. I know how it goes now. I've had a huge overthinking issue for as long as I can remember, negative thoughts for as long as I can remember. I've learned how to manage and to deal with them and how to stop them in a lot of scenarios. Now, first of all, with the overthinking, you gotta acknowledge when you're overthinking the most, right? Now, like I said, my, I'm always thinking about something, right? Always, but I don't say to myself, I've got an overthinking problem because if the thoughts are not negative, it's not really that much of an issue. Do you know what I mean? It's very hard to just switch your mind off. We only notice the overthinking when we're having negative thoughts, right? Now, when are you overthinking the most? Nine times out of 10, it's gonna be when you've got idle time alone, spending too much time alone. People don't like hearing this, but it's very hard to overthink if you're busy, being productive, if you've got company, you're socializing, you're enjoying that company, right? <sighs> That's not to say that overthinking's a lazy problem, because you can be the busiest person in the world. But eventually, within that day, you're going to need some downtime, even if it's just going to bed at night. And a lot of people overthink uh, when they go to bed at night. But just acknowledging when you're overthinking the most and trying to fill in those gaps when you've got too much idle time alone, when your mind's racing. If you try and fill in those gaps with productive things, with things that you know you should be doing or things that you want to do, a lot of the times you fix the problem there. Do you know what I mean? If the day is filled with productivity, it's very hard to find room for overthinking. Do you understand? You can outrun your overthinking just by being too busy. No time to overthink, right? Now, like I said earlier, overthinking becomes a problem when you've got negative thoughts. How I deal with negative thoughts is, I look at them like just that, a thought. They only become an issue when you put too much power, put too much weight on these thoughts that you're having. I'll try and separate the thought from me. So if I'm having a thought, I kind of like in my head, try and separate it. Like it's come out of my head and I pull it there and I just acknowledge it like, okay, that's a thought. It's not nothing important. You understand? It's not real. It hasn't happened. There's no proof it's going to happen. There's no point thinking about it. It's just a negative thought. Why would I want to hold on to it? Just let it go. Separate yourself from the thought. I know it sounds all like weird, and but you can do it because I do it. If a thought pops into your head, Acknowledge it as a thought and that's it. It's not reality. You understand, especially when it's a negative. A negative thought pops into your head. Acknowledge it as that. Just say to yourself, okay, I'm having a negative thought. Look at it like it's on the other side of the room. Push it to the side and keep on moving within your day. That's it. It's just a negative thought. There's no point holding onto it. It's not real. It hasn't happened. Forget about it, right? That's as simple and as straightforward I can put when it comes to negative thoughts, right? I can tell you to start meditating and journaling. Realistically, none of that shit is sustainable for a lot of people. That shit just don't work for some people. Some people are just not interested in doing that. Now, another thing, taking one day at a time. This is an issue I used to have years ago. If I've got something to do Wednesday, I'll be worrying about it Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Learn to take one day at a time. Okay, you've got a job interview Wednesday. So worry about that Wednesday. We're always going to worry about things, but just narrow it down to the event, right? There's no point worrying about what's happening Thursday if it's Wednesday. Wednesday is Wednesday. Something's happening Thursday that you've got planned in the back of your mind. Okay, then worry about that on Thursday. There's no reason to start piling all these problems on, all, on every single day of the week, right? Every day is separate. You do separate things on separate days. There's different events happening, different thoughts happening. Don't try and pile all of Thursday and Friday's issues on Monday and Tuesday. There's no point. One day at a time. If you've got something planned for late, worry about it that day. If there's something that's going to happen down the, down, um, down the road or on the week that you know is going to happen, an event that's going to happen that's got you a little bit worried, just worry about it on that day. Focus on the day in front of you. That's it. Make it to bed at night. That's it. It's not, as sim it's not as complicated as you making it out to be. It's not as negative as you're making it out to be. Just don't overpile shit on top of your day. And that's it. Acknowledge when you're overthinking the most and fill in those gaps. Separate the negative thoughts from yourself because they're not real. And take one day at a time and don't pile all the other shit 
on one specific day and that's it manage that repetition peace